Okay, she navigated that really, really well. <laughs> there was a little wobble right in the middle. I think she's, I think it's such a, she sat down, uh, she's approaching all this all very heavy. Halo Lur, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih udah klik video ini. Oke okay, Lur, kita lanjutkan membahas tentang perayaan luar negeri yang mereaksin Putri Ariani Lur. Di video ini pun seperti biasa juga gua kasih tag bahasa Indonesia biar kita sama-sama ngerti apa yang dikomentari para atau negeri tentang Putri Ariani. Tanpa banyak-banyak basi lagi, langsung kita gas ke videonya lor. Check it out. Oke. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, but you can call me Jen. I'm a musical theater performer and a voice teacher. And today I am returning back to Putri Ariani. This is her I still haven't found what I'm looking for you to cover. Um, qualifiers America's Got Talent. I can't remember what, obviously I know she got the golden buzzer, but I can't remember the rules. <laughs> but I'm so excited to be jumping onto Putri's vocals again. Her voice is stunning and just where she takes, what journey she takes us on, what journey she goes on is just beautiful to watch. For those of you that are unaware, recently I was hit by a hacker then my whole channel went. That was a stressful day. Uh, but with that meant that some of my videos are missing some comments so I believe that the Putri Ariani reaction and analysis I did to her audition to America's Got Talent I think all the comments have gone that's why there are no comments on there unless by now they've come back then I'm just talking gibberish we'll see as always this will be a reaction and an analysis video so we'll be stopping and talking about the vocals and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot to talk about but if you'd rather watch the full thing uninterrupted then I have left the link to the original video in the description below and in the description below you can also find the link to my patreon page if you do enjoy what I'm doing over here and want to support a little bit more I have news this week this Friday 22nd of September I'm releasing my second single voice of my own is the title I'm so excited for everyone to hear it the pre-save link is in the description below so do go and pre-save it but yes it will be out if you do follow me over on social media such as instagram or facebook or tiktok you would have heard a little snippet um but yeah i'm super excited be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button and let's get to it I Gosh, uh, <laughs> all right, I love how we haven't heard any instrumentation. Like she's obviously sat in front of a piano like she was in the audition. We haven't heard any of that. This is just her vocals. Yes, we know that. Like anyone could have said it's just a book, but it's just so stunning and beautiful. So she is, not only does she not have any backing supporting her, like it's just solely just her voice and she's leading this. She has to make sure that she's staying in key. So any little dip um, or, or like, pushing too much of the vocals and getting sharp. As soon as she starts playing the piano and she's not in the right key, we're gonna hear that. I'm not saying that we're going to hear that, but I'm saying that's such a skill to have, to be able to sing an entire verse completely a cappella, completely on her own, and just to maintain that, stunning. Let's just talk a little bit about what, how she's playing around with her voice already. There are elements of really clear vocals and clear vocal fold closure, and then there are elements of breath-like quality. A little bit of a darkening sob as well, but let's go through it and we'll break it down. And mountains. So just those two differences. She could have continued that quality mountains, kept it really soft and breath led and not let the vocal folds close all the way just to allow the breath to come through. But instead she's kind of getting clear vocal fold closure mountains, but then the mountains is quite dark. I think she's dropping. We can't really see her uh, mouth right here. We're quite far away mountains, but I presume it's quite a dark shape long. And there's also like a, uh, I think the, uh, the swell, the, Da, da, helps with this kind of uh, dark feel as well. It's so dark. I have run through I just sorry. I love the through. There's like a not. 
Through. She does like a nice little mm. setup. Through. Through. The and it's like through Tilton Fields. Only to be with you. Only to be with you. I love how you. She kind of keeping everything in this tiny smile, which suits her. That as in like it feels comfortable to her. But I like that. Um, what is she? Only to be with you. Be and I slide there. Only to be with you. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, that was so beautiful. <laughs> Yes, yeah, D5. And she, uh, obviously the word is haven't, so there's a lovely H <laughs> on top of that. So she's using that to her advantage to throw lots of breath there. And it's like a big exaggerated sigh. Very chest connected. And that f There's a, a little run right at the end. It's... Yeah, on that C, she's in a mixed quality here. It's really blended. It's not too heavy, not too loud. And this whole next phrase, you can really hear when sometimes she grabs hold of that thicker connection and then lets it break and she allows it to be a lot thinner. It's really like she's so aware of where she wants to place things. Not everything sound in the same. It's really nice. Nicely navigated. Then all the colors will bleed into one, bleed into one. Ooh. But yes, I'm still running. Yeah, I mean, look at this lovely, beautiful, thick fold connection here that we have uh, in her chest voice down here. The vocal folds are thick. We are in like a speaking kind of territory. Uh, bleed the first time bleed second time she allows so it's nice that she's changing quality even though she's just shown us a fully connected chess voice here on that g4 which is uh you know the top part of her chess voice she it, we we're about to reach the first passage we can obviously obviously stretch our chess voice a little bit more um but yeah i like that she's playing around with that all the colors will bleed into one bleed into one Love that run. But yes, I'm still running. You broke the bonds and you lose a chance. Carry the cross. I'm my shame. Oh. Like, this is all happening under the same chord. <laughs> I love that. Uh, da. B flat here. Okay very chest dominant still in her chest voice like belting this out lovely a little bit of grit now coming in as well what's really interesting is on the word chance <laughs> i was pausing myself because chance is where she's placing it uh, up to that d5 okay Chai. as she goes up and softens up and so from that b flat as, as she goes up on the word chance and goes up to the d5 she's actually modifying the vowel to chance like e we don't say chance, <laughs> but we've started with a chai, and then it becomes like more of a instrument to us. And she wants to soften up. Chance would have been like maybe a bit too theatrical. Chance, she's like playing around with the. Look, 
right, she gets a nice glottal onset on a C5 here. If we think it's so a glottal, uh-oh, uh-oh, is where the air's coming up to the vocal folds and stops there. The connection's here, and then, uh, and then we let it escape. Uh-oh, rather than smooth, everything coming together, or breath-led, where the breath kind of comes first. Here, the muscles kind of coming together, and then allowing that, uh-oh, uh uh, where does she say the word? So if you think about it, uh-oh, down here, nice and easy to talk. When we're up there, <laughs> go to sing this note on a glottal onset. So you can feel that kind of closure of the vocal folds. You can feel that your whole stomach is supported because it's right up there. We need to be hitting this, <laughs> this note. There it is. <laughs> uh, and it has to be right on it. So not only does she, is she doing this glottally, but there's a lot kind of happening behind the scenes just to make sure that she's not losing that pitch and still maintaining a chest dominant connection. That was a that was such a delicate rundown. The agility on this gal, I love it. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen to that clarity in her voice as well up there. In order to get these big notes in the middle part of our voice, we need to make sure that we're de developed up there because that's how we're going to play around with the different mix balances. Um, and yes, there is a 50-50% mix, but we can still belt in a mixed voice because belt is a style, not a register. But here, we've shot up into head voice. And I think the second time when she breaks, she brings it in a, in a aspirate he <laughs> into there. I love how you can hear in this part of the voice, wada, which is G to F3 now, right at the bottom of the chest voice. For some singers, some singers, some female higher voices can go lower. <laughs> uh, wada. Uh, but you can hear how it is a little bit kind of uh, a breath led. The vocal fold closure isn't as strong here. Um, and that's just purely because of where her anatomy is lying, uh, right? Like we are just, uh, she's a lot more comfortable and a lot more uh what's the word her voice rings true a little bit higher for her so down here she is just relying a lot on that breath to get those notes it still sounds wonderful but you can feel it's kind of not as thick uh what um i keep repeating it because it's really this is i my lowest note when i was training i couldn't go any lower than ah, uh, and even that was like ah. Uh. <laughs> so it's just really nice that, uh, that these, it's just a nice little like, go on chin. But keep working on them. Just keep stretching your voice. It's really because, you know, the more she works on this and she sings and she exposes her voice to notes like this, the more comfortable they're going to get. That's all. What I'm looking for. But I still haven't found. What I'm looking for. I mean, see, like, what I'm looking for. So that was almost an octave above. We just hit an F4 up there. Looking for. Like, it's very much in a comfortable place for her. May it felt like it maybe it was a little bit uh, pressed there on the vocals, but this is genu generally, I think this is live as well. This is generally where her vocal folds want to. But I still I need to try myself, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, I think because she's not still, she's not opening up to an ah vowel, she's kind of keeping on this ear there. There's a little bit of like a ah, like a kind of, <laughs> have I got this? That's an F5. So we need to be blend, like it's not gonna be pure chest. She's making it sound very, very chestful. And I think it's because she's getting a lot of she is kind of reaching up there a little bit. I would have loved a little bit more of a drop of the jaw, if I'm gonna be honest. And I will, because this is what this channel is for. Um, but she's still maintaining. 
you can see it just a little bit wants to waver a little fraction off of the note that's why i would want it just to be dropped ever so slightly you can see that it's a lot a very chestful she still sounds wonderful i don't want to say that she's not uh but that's what's making me think how can we get that feeling a bit more comfortable for her but I still okay she navigated that really really well <laughs> there was a little wobble right in the middle i think she's i think it's such a she sat down uh, she's approaching all this all very heavy um this is where i would want it just to be a little bit more uh narrower with it. if we're thinking if we're like uh, so Still have a far, if we're thinking a little bit more rather than far, as soon as we do that we're gonna bring this up because the space is squashed and we want to bring up a, the chest voice whereas if we think elongate it we've got so much more balance to play with um and we're just gonna feel a little bit more supported but yeah the uh, she it's always so impressive that when we start feeling a little wobble in our voice everyone's human this is a, a one time that she's just going to go on and sing this and we'll see what happens um as soon as we feel our voice waver it's so hard to be like how do i fix it <laughs> she did it really well <laughs> actually an E flat. <laughs> so let's just quickly break things, things down. I love breaking people's voice, uh, speaking voices down because it's so easy. Okay. Thank you. Ah, wow, luar biasa lor ya. Semakin hari semakin banyak saja berdatangan reaktor-reaktor baru yang reaction video dari Putri Ariani lor. Luar biasa memang penampilan Putri Ariani semakin hari semakin dahsyat dan juga semakin menyedot dan menarik para reaktor luar negeri, musisi, produser musik maupun kalangan biasa lor ya. Mereka mendukung Putri Ariani menjura, menjuarai di Amerika Got Talent. Amin, Norwal, amin. Kita dukung terus Putri Ariani, lur. Sekian lesson dari gue kali ini. Kurang lebih aku minta maaf. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.